in this video I am going back to basics all the way back because I forgot what it's like to be a new dialysis nurse. I've been a dialysis nurse since 2016, a nurse nurse since 2008. It's been a while. It feels like I've always been a dialysis nurse. Like I never not knew dialysis, but I did. There was a time where I walked into that dialysis clinic for the first time. I didn't know any of the words they were talking about. DFR, ultrafiltration, minimum UF, what's their goal, pH, conductivity, I got to go to the water room, is the water check done? It just, it was nonstop. I, I, I'm I, like, what? I didn't hear about any of this in nursing school. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Unfortunately, that's kind of a good thing because I really got to do a deep dive into dialysis and just learn so much. But I'm I'm here for you. I'm here for the newcomer, the, the new person to the dialysis clinic, patient, nurse, dietitian, social worker, dialysis tech, whoever you are, I'm here for you. We've all been new at one time or another. The dialysis dictionary. What a time to be alive, folks. What a time to be alive. I also want to show you this. This is what it looks like on Etsy. Can't you just picture yourself with this glossary on your phone and being like, oh, diffusion? Oh, what does that mean? Like what? I'm not sure. Let me just take a, take a look at this. Okay, I hear what you're saying. And you can also ask people what these terms mean. And people can say things to me all the time. But I like to see the words. I like to read it. Like, I'm to the point in my life where I have captions on the TV. Dialysis core concept. Dialysis. This one I am going to bring up because I took me a while to understand what dialysate was. I thought it was just the acid and I didn't really understand where the water was coming from. It was just like, wait, what? Here it is. I see it now. It's a mixture of the bicarbonate, the acid, and the purified water used to pull waste products and electrolytes across the semi-permeable membrane. How many times is semi-permeable membrane on this first page? One. Dialysate. Two. Diffusion. Three. Ooh, here it is down here. Four, five. So semi-permeable membranes seem to be a big part of dialysis. The dialyzer is a big deal in dialysis. Semi-permeable membrane. Next, dialysis machine and process terms. My favorite one, looking back when I first started, was DFR. What? <laughs> what? What is DFR? I don't. I don't not know. Dialysate flow rate. Okay, and it goes mils per minute. 600 mils per minute across that semi-permeable membrane, that dialyzer? Wow, that is fast and super cool. And I know that dialysate is part acid, part bicarbonate, and then many parts water. So that's why water safety is so important because a lot of water passes across that semi-permeable membrane and we need to make sure that the water is safe for the patient too. BFR, this is another one. BFR, blood flow rate, mils per minute. That's just always such, it always just kind of hits me. Mils per minute, it goes so fast. And then you go to the floor and you're giving things that are like mils per hour, 100 mils per hour. It's just so fast, it's amazing. Fluid management, dry weight, UF goal, ultrafiltration. Remembering what it was like when I first started, it helps me have compassion and empathy and brings me back. Like, okay, wait, where do I start when I am teaching? Where do I start when I am talking about this? I need to start here, right here. This is a good one just in general for anybody. When I first started, I like, I remember them talking about fistula first when I first started and I did not understand what the big deal was. I'm like, fistula first, like a new fistula. Okay, but they're, they're, special you need to they need to mature how long rule of sixes six weeks six millimeters in diameter six centimeter length changed my life rule of sixes water safety every year at the dallas's clinic we had a water room test and it was hard it was so hard i think i would keep one from one year for the next year so i could i could have the answers but here here are the answers right here. If I would have had this, maybe I would have retained it a little bit more because I could see it and I could hear it, but I needed to read it. Bring this with you to the water room and, and find all these things. A little scavenger hunt maybe. Dialysis complications. All this stuff can go wrong in dialysis. Are you crazy? Are you serious? Yes. That is why you need to. we need to be careful and take our time and safety first. You've heard me say in another video, go slow to go fast. That helps, that helps me. Blood and dialysate? What? What is that? What do you mean blood and dialysate? Blood never crosses that semi-permeable membrane? Really? That's why we can use a machine on multiple patients. And if we do, if it does cross that membrane, 
then the machine gets pulled. I've talked a lot about DDS in other videos. What's another good one? Steel syndrome is really special. This is where you can, one where you can really make a difference. I had a patient once, he had a fistula in his arm and he started having sores on his finger. And I asked him, I said, how did you get those sores? And he's like, oh, they just showed up one day. My primary doctor saw it and he gave me some antibiotics for it. You know, it's just like, I must've bumped it into something. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know about that. Like it's, it's risky. You are at risk for steel syndrome because it's over here talked to the physician about it, saw the vascular surgeon, they had steel syndrome. So they did a procedure to, cause he had too much blood flow in his fistula it was taking from his hand. So the vascular surgeon helped reroute some of that blood back to his hand where he was starting to get necrotic tissue and he could have lost fingers. We can make a big difference as dialysis nurses. Common dialysis labs. Anyone here heard of KT over V before coming to dialysis? Not me. Not me, you are our what? Urea reduction ratio. This is simple. What is their re urea before dialysis and what is their urea after dialysis? It needs to drop by 65%. Simple, but I guess not as precise as KT over B. Going down, anemia lab levels in ESRD patients, talks about iron and EPO and hemoglobin. One of the most recent things I've learned that in order for EPO to work, they need to have iron stores. So they can have all of this EPO, erythropoietin, and they can stimulate it all they want, but if there's no iron to make good hemoglobin, EPO's not gonna do anything. So they're both very important. How cool. Print it out, put it in your binder, have fun with it, doodle on it, draw pictures. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time.